We're here at the uh, 61st Street Fishing Pier. Probably made it Sunday. Kind of quiet day. We got a uh, fishing buddy over here getting ready to hopefully hook into some bait. And we're going to rig up some uh, uh, wire line and hopefully uh, hook into some sharks maybe. Got some pretty good looking water. Got some uh, thunderstorm looking things out in the background. But bottom line, we're ready for um, uh, changes in weather hopefully. All right, we got a bruiser hardhead there. Woohoo! First fish of the day. All right, we got a we got a big bite on this one. Hopefully, he's, he's taking out line. Hopefully, we can bring in some line. Probably need to go down there. You do all right. <laughs> All right, running. He's running in. Okay, pump him then if you can. Yeah, he's running. He's coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. I don't have it. I see something. Oh, it looks wide though. Wide? I think so. He's coming in. Stingray? Stingray. Stingray. Holy oh, yeah. Stingray? Yeah, it's big. Uh, all right. It's just that model. All right. Oh, yeah. That ain't wow. gonna, this ain't going to bring it up, but we can try. He might get away. We didn't quite get them. Next time. All right, we see a lot of mullet in the water. Uh, let's see if we can see some sharks underneath attacking them. Last time we did this, uh, there was a good amount uh, getting hit by some sharks just underneath on the surface. All right, we had one uh, run with it. Took the head. It looks like a little shark bite. All right, here's some more of the bait. This one uh, is actually one of the better ones that we like using for uh, the sharks. All right, I uh, got a Spanish mackerel. Keeper size. Not bad. Something uh, big was chasing it too. See, it got bit in the tail. That's what I saw flash at it. Okay, uh, we're back uh, this evening, Sunday, uh, for another round here at the uh, 61st Street Fishing Pier. Uh, earlier we had caught a nice size uh, stingray and it uh, got away on us. And now we're just uh, kind of working the surf rods with some mullet and some whiting and hopefully we might get uh, uh, a nice, uh, nice looking one. So, uh, wish us luck. Uh, give you an idea of what we're getting, it's these hard heads. Can't see a really good uh, view of them, but it's been consistent uh, hit on these guys. This is probably our uh, oh maybe tenth one so far, so we'll keep at it. All right, and uh, we got the hard heads as well as uh, these gaff top. Gaff top with the uh, longer top sail. Uh, it doesn't happen too often when we're uh, out on a pier, uh, but this round on the six first fishing pier, we've got the corner. Go beans. And we got our surf rods. We're also using uh, our spinning rods to uh, get some bait, whiting, and other fish. Bottom line, here's our setup. We've got the uh, 10 foot rods because there's a limit of 10 foot uh, length in rods. We've got the uh, Ambassador C3, and then we've got that Penn Squall 15 that we had mentioned earlier. But uh, we like pairing up with another uh, rod, but in this case, we've got to switch over to the 10 footers. So, see how it goes. What did he bite on? Squid. Hey, squid. squid. Hey, Mingo, I think. Hey. Oh. No bueno. Oh. Little hook. Eh? Mingo. All right, got another shark on the line. It's a little bonnet head. You got a little bonnet head. 